number five. First up at number five, we have the Lightning Kayak Kick 106. This kayak is 10 feet 6 inches long, 33 inches wide, has a weight capacity of 400 pounds, and has a weight of 77 pounds. It is a roller motor kayak made by Lightning Kayaks, has two 10 and a half inch aluminum gear tracks, and then two 8 inch in the rear. It has a tri hull uh, design hull, more rocker and maneuverability, two flush mount rod holders, elevated seat position, aluminum frame seat, roomy rear storage. The rudder is recessed into the hull. Has a large rear tank well to store all your black packs and coolers and all that stuff. It does have custom marine mat flooring, so you're able to stand with comfort and it does help with the sound if you drop anything or walk around your kayak. Uh, it does have a steering handle on the left side, making it easy to steer that rudder in the back while you have the Hobie style or fin style uh, pedal drive. This kayak seems like a very simple pedal drive kayak that is going to be somewhat lightweight, smaller package, easier to rooftop, uh, just more basic and beginner, especially at that 10 foot 6 inch. I want to give a quick shout out to Max Moore Fishing. It seems like he's the only person on YouTube making videos about this and uh, if you want to see more on this Kick 106, definitely go to his channel and check out his videos on the Kick 106. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can find his channel. Also, this kayak comes in at $1,599, and it comes in uh, three colors, uh, the sea foam looking color, a slate blue, and then kind of a lime green, I guess for high visibility. As you guys can see here, it does use that Hobie style or fin drive style uh, pedal drive. It does have seven adjustable settings. That square there is to adjust your rudder lines, whether you need to tighten them or loosen them up. Kind of got like a little storage hatch there. This kayak is made in America, so that's nice to see. These cheaper kayaks, especially the pedal drive ones, are usually not made in America. So good on you, Lightning Kayaks. And at number four, we have the Lightning Kayak Strike HD. This is the Lightning Kayak that you're probably more familiar with. Uh, this kayak is a 12 foot 6 inch long kayak with 34 inch wide, a weight capacity of 415 pounds, and a whole weight of 94 pounds. Uh, same pedal drive that you just saw with the Lightning Kick 106. You have more features as a, uh, a, a huge dry hatch in the front. You still have those marine mat pads uh, even in the back this time. Uh, a nice frame seat that is comfortable and mesh and all that stuff. Uh, looks like you have the option or uh, maybe that does come standard now is the dual steering so one on either side you still have access to adjust your rudder you have a dry hatch right below your legs now so you have that eight inch circular hatch so that you can store your phone or keys or wallet right there you have a bunch of gear tracks you have four in the back and two in the front the four in the back are eight inch, the two in the front are 16 inch, so a lot more real estate there. Uh, the nice molded in rear and front handles. A big tank well in the back to carry coolers and everything else. You can also buy a hatch liner to go in that front hatch there so you can store a lot more stuff. Also want to give a quick shout out to Robert Field. I think he does have a stake in this company, but if you want to see what this kayak can do. Uh, or more on this kayak definitely go to his channel it's field trips with Robert Field he makes some amazing fishing videos and he does it mostly from this lightning kayak if you do want to see more on the kayak and what it's capable of go check him out this kayak does come in two colors camo and slate blue and comes in at $1949 number three at number three we have the bonafide SS 127 uh, this will be the only non-pedal drive on this list. This kayak comes in at 12 feet 7 inches, 33 and a 3 quarter inches wide, uh, around 94 pounds fitted hull weight, and a 475 pound capacity. This kayak has a lot of features, and that's why it's more in the upper range price-wise for a paddle kayak. You have that front hatch that you can buy a 
liner for now. You've got gear tracks everywhere, paddle parks, you got marine mat pretty much throughout the whole thing. You have that junk drawer under the seat, and then you have that seat, which is one of the most comfortable seats on a kayak that you can find, um, and it's one of the highest sitting. So if you like high vantage point, this seat is the seat for you. Now the Bonafide SS127 comes in at $1,799 and comes in a bunch of different colors. So I would definitely recommend you go check out this kayak if you want uh, something that you can paddle or put a motor on the bow. Number two. At number two, we have the Old Town Sportsman PDL 106. This kayak comes in at 10 feet 6 inches long, 36 inches wide, and has a 107 pound weight with a 450 pound weight capacity. This is their pedal drive, so it does come with their PDL system. 18 inch gear tracks on either side in the front, a nice comfortable adjustable frame style seat, a big cargo area with a rudder, very easy to deploy. Now the PDL system does have a dry console kind of built into the console of the pedal drive itself. So you can store your keys and wallet and phone and all that stuff in there. And it's nice dry storage. It does include a big dry hatch in the front that is really watertight and really nice. These kayaks are super stable, even though it's only a 10 foot six kayak, it is a really stable due to that W design hole that they have so that's why it's earning the number two spot I think it's a great kayak especially if you want something a little bit shorter and easier to maneuver if you want to go bigger water I would say go with the 120 or the next kayak on our list which I'll talk about in a few minutes but you can't go wrong with the 106 uh, it does come in two colors the photic camo and ember camo and this kayak comes in at $1,999 so just under that $2,000 mark Kayaks are getting really expensive these days, and something this good for less than $2,000, I think you cannot go wrong with it. And it always with Old Town, it comes with a lifetime hole warranty, so that hole is going to be covered for life. And the PDL drive itself is covered for five years, so great warranty with Old Town, can't go wrong. Especially with these PDL drives, they're pretty rock solid. There's a reason why they cover them for five years. Uh, it's because they don't think they're going to have any problems out of them for at least five years. And a lot of people's last way longer than that. They're a really rock solid, good pedal drive. Probably next to Hobie is the best on the market, in my opinion. Number one. And finally, at number one, we have the Old Town Sportsman Salty PDL 120. The reason I put this boat in front of the 106 is because this boat is made for bigger water. It's a little bit longer. It is a totally different hull shape. You're getting something a little less stable, but a lot faster and meant for a lot bigger water. It's going to excel in salt water hence the name Salty, but you're getting a great kayak. This kayak is based on the Ocean Kayaks Malibu PDL, but has made some minor changes to make it more towards fishing. So you get a front and back tank well, so no dry hatches there, nowhere to take on water and waves and stuff, so that's good. You have the PDL drive, which also floats. Um, all of their PDL drives float. I forgot to mention that in the last clip, but it does float, but you're getting the same dry hatch on the PDL system itself for your phone, keys, wallet, all that stuff. You got some tackle storage underneath your seat, a decent sized tank wall in the back, some rod holders. This is a very slim down kayak that's meant for big waters and just getting out there and catching fish and not bringing the kitchen sink with you. And again, because it's Old Town, it comes with a lifetime whole warranty as well as that five-year warranty on the PDL drive system and it also comes in two colors photic camo ember camo and this kayak also comes in at $1,999 and as always if you like this video make sure you hit that like button subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos like this and I'll see you guys in the next one